Huh? You know the vibes, we're back on another video, and today we are going to be... Bringing you the Week 11 NBA Recap. Yes, we are. And before we get into the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow the IG, follow the TikTok, follow the Twitter. They will all be in the description below. We are active on all platforms. We are. Stay tuned. We've got another video coming out. Very important news. Yes, sir. Yo. Yeah. Week 11. Crazy. Very interesting week. COVID. Yeah. It's continuing to get worse. Yes. That's going to be like a topic for the next like. Because <laughs> it's like the world. It's not just basketball. Yeah. So, yeah. Even freaking every league is having COVID problems. Yeah. It's weird. They're bringing like, the NBA is low-key turning into the G League. Low-key. Like, which I think is cool. It's like different. Yeah. People are getting opportunities. Yeah. A lot of posters. Like, why are G League <laughs> just bouncy people? <laughs> and people just getting dunked on left and right. Um, Nah. They're bringing like, the weirdest people are getting signed. Oh yeah, Bro. freaking uh, thing. Let me guess one. I'm not trying to guess like an obvious one. Dang. Okay. Well, oh, uh, three. I know. Oh, Jordan Bell. Oh, yeah. Freaking broke up. Marquis Chris. Yeah. Like just like weird people. I was in the G League. That was weird. I feel like he was hooping for us last season. Well, he was coming back from injury. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Nice. Um. Yeah, Mario Chalmers and Lance Stevenson. <laughs> And then they went back to like the heat in the pictures. That's so weird. Y'all gonna see? It's a picture of them in like 2013. It'll be, yeah. It's so weird. So, how do you feel good. about it? Uh, he hasn't played yet, so I don't know. <laughs> do, you, do you think you're like him better than Gabe? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, Rio! That's crazy. <laughs> you should watch that. Uh -huh. He was like, um, tell him I'm still in shape. I'm so like our pick and roll goes crazy or something like something like pick and roll. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about the people we picked up, but I'm not about to sit here and just talk on my hand. We got Kyle Guy. He's a shooter. I think that's tough. But I knew that he played for our uh, G League team. Did he? No, not our G League team. Our summer. Summer league. Our summer league team. I, I think so. That sounds familiar, actually. He also went to the University of Virginia. If he did I not, like he did. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe he got off against some other team. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Ricky Rubio tore his ACL, unfortunately. Yeah, had to pick up Rondo. He might be the weirdest player to tear their ACL. Uh, Cause I most... feel like he, bro, I feel like he's always having like a breakout year. We're well, not a breakout year, but like a tough really, year, and the, then he, he gets injured. Yeah. yeah. Nah, that's weird. Nah, he got to be because like most of the time it's like freak athletes or like just like that is very true. Like Ricky Rubio, I'm not out here. Really <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> if Ricky was winning. Okay, anyways. So, yeah, they traded for Rondo. Um, bro, I think the Lakers are looking kind of really great. Just because, like, they need Rondo in the playoffs. Rondo's, I'm not going to say he's the only reason. He's a big reason they won in the bubble, though. So. Yeah, he was him. Yeah. They were very like, weird. It was like they're gonna trade up. They're gonna cut Denzel Valentine. They updated it, so it's a three-team trade. Mm -hmm. So Denzel Valentine went to the Knicks, and I think they got like Denzel cash. Valentine. That's crazy. He's trash. I He's know. The worst person. <laughs> but anyway, um, <laughs> but they said they're gonna do it to sign like Stanley Johnson. Mm -hmm. To I don't Stanley, Stanley Johnson, because he's hooping. Like defense, yeah. But they need defense though, so I get it. I guess. I'm um, not trading him. Um, I wouldn't trade a Rondo. I guess. Or I would ask them for like a player I could but use. But Rondo hasn't even like been playing for them. Which is weird, bro, because he's healthy. Like They just can't play Rondo and like Westbrook at the same time. Yeah. So. They said they were saving Rondo for the playoffs. For the playoffs. <laughs> he going to be hooping at Cleveland in the playoffs. Because <laughs> Cleveland is definitely making the playoffs. Um, Whatever. Uh, ben Simmons, did you see Ben Simmons? How much money he's giving up? Yeah. 10 like, minutes? It was like close to Tyrese Maxey's like, contract. Yeah, bro. No. <laughs> Scared of getting booed? I would not care. I would go up there and shoot from half court every play. <laughs> Knowing I couldn't shoot. I would shoot with my right hand. <laughs> 10 M's? Like, yeah, y'all better trade me. This is... <laughs> like, bro, there's no way. And it's not like... It's not like Kyrie. He hasn't already played and has a bunch of money. Like, he's low-key. Yeah, low-key. Nah, I'm, that's funny. I'm going out there to get booed. I, I would not care, bro. At all. <laughs> like, niggas hate y'all. That's what they. Shit. I got y'all. I got y'all. Okay. Get, get him a body. <laughs> like, trade him. 
Alright, bet trade me. That's what I wanted. I'll right, go somewhere else and start hooping. <laughs> Nah, that's wild. I just had to. Yeah. We had to talk about that because Ben really hooping. Um, bro, James Harden, he's like, yeah, he's coming back. He's back. He had like three. I think he had three thirty point games, three thirty point triple doubles in a row. Yeah, he's hooping. He's he's hooping. They might be. He's had to though. They might go to the finals this year. Think so? Yeah. I don't know. I still don't have faith in them. Nah, I do. I tell you why. What's the? I tell you what separates them from like last year, bro. They got Patty. They do have Patty. Like, <laughs> and as weird as that sounds, bro, but he like played on the Spurs too, so he knows. Yeah, nah, they, they might. I don't want them to. I wouldn't be upset. I actually wouldn't care if they went. Like, uh, whatever. Yeah. Um. You get Steph versus KD in the finals. That would be that'd be tough. Mm -hmm. And he got Kyrie. That would be tough. Um. LeBron, LeBron is hooping. <laughs> he's going crazy. Like, he's going bonkers. He don't look 37. <laughs> like, he's really going crazy. About the, the fountain. Bro, you know, he's, he, I think he's shooting like close to 40% from three. Like, he's, he's really so wild. Here. He's hooping, bro. He got 40, right? No. Yeah. 39, something like that. Yeah, he dropped 40, like 40? 43. Get bro. the Blazers. I was so weak. With like the worst team in the league. I like was you, so weak. If you take LeBron off that team, bro, they might be the worst team in the league. Like, say AD still gets hurt. Do you hurt. think he's gonna like? Yeah, he's definitely gonna continue with AD come back. It's not like AD is some crazy player. Ah, bro, they they look bad though. That's wild. They and the crazy thing is, he needs to. Move. Like yo, the crazy thing he's like they're still barely winning these games. Yeah, they're not. Like, <laughs> no. There's like Bleacher Report posted a, a, a thing. He had like I think it was like six thirty point games or like you know his last six games they were one and five and he was hooping in every single game. That's like a uh, point. Like someone was like LeBron is hooping and probably gonna like carry like the Lakers to like probably like the seven sixty. And like nobody's gonna talk about him being MVP because like his team's like a lower seed, but we weren't saying the same thing about Steph last year. Uh, it's okay. It's kind of different <laughs> for two reasons. One, yes. Steph, <laughs> Steph should have been. Well, I didn't say he should have been MVP. He should have been in the conversation, and LeBron deserves to be in the conversation. But they hate on LeBron because he can win MVP every year. I think it's different because the Lakers team is like. Nowhere compared to the Warriors team last year. Yeah. <laughs> like record, record wise, they're the same. Talent wise, they're so much better. Yeah, you know, like Um, bro, people are so dumb. They was like, they should trade for Jeremy Grant. They should give up like THT oh, yeah. and Kendrick Nunn. Who the freak yeah. is taking that trade, bro? Like, yo, that is the dumbest trade. Like, okay, yeah. bro, was weak. <laughs> the the uh, DM I sent you. The, oh. <laughs> he was like. LeBron just be hyping up his players so they can up up the trade value. <laughs> it's THD hooping. He's different. That's wild. <laughs> nah, bro. Like, first of all, Jeremy Grant does not fit on that team at, at all. all. At all. Him and him and AD aren't the same player, but they're the same player. Like, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm not a big Jeremy Grant fan either. Um, might be because of 2K. That. Might be because of 2K, but... <laughs> now you didn't really like him before then. <laughs> you used to... Huh, you do hate on Jeremy Grant. Whatever. Anyways, um... Yeah, the Lakers, that's all they get. Um, the rookie ladder. Bro, look at the... Bro. He's hooping. Nah, he's hooping. But Evan Mobley is in, like, first? Mm, I don't know why they're hating on him. I feel like he should be first. He Just should. punched on, dude. Forgot who he punched on. And he did the up and under. <laughs> he did the Jordan lay at seven foot. That was ridiculous. That was a lot. Um, nah, Franz Wagner, he's like the only reason. Like the only reason. Is Josh Giddy up there? Yeah, he is. Yeah, oh what? God. Okay. Is he above? I we're, don't know if he's. We're going to get. I'm so Best crazy. believe we're going to get. So you got Wagner. He's he's hooping. He's tough. Way better than his brother. Um, Orlando, if they made better decisions. Like, bro, there's no way your second draft pick should be hooping more than your first draft pick. Jalen Suggs did get hurt though, but he still yeah. had been hooping over Jalen Suggs. Anyways, um, you got Scotty Barnes. I think Scotty Barnes he might finish second. Like I feel like he will always be in the top three just because of how bad Toronto is. I feel like he'll always be second. <laughs> yeah, uh, Evan Mobley. We talked about him. Cade. Cade did start hooping. He got his confidence up, but at the same time, we're not about to sit here and act like he's better than Josh Giddy. <laughs> like, bro, there's. N 
He's a better defender than Josh Giddy. That's probably it. He's a, mm, I'm that might be it for real. <laughs> and he's bigger than him. That's it, bro. Josh Giddy. Yo, y'all sleep. If you don't know, get into it. Watch some Thunder games. I'm trying to they, they hard to watch, I promise. But you see, I mean, but you got you, you can watch Shay and like him and, bro, yeah, Shay and Shane. Josh Giddy are about to be <laughs> Bro, mark my words. I'm trying to clip that screenshot or screen record this little part of me talking about Josh Giddy and Shay. Them boys tough. Okay, next segment. Oh. Um, <laughs> so Giannis is first. Um, and speaking of Josh Giddy, he dropped the triple double. Oh yeah, became the youngest, the youngest player. player to drop the triple double. He passed Lamelo. Interestingly enough. Okay. Had to definitely mm-hmm. tough. Um, Giannis passed KD in the MVP ladder. And I just don't agree with it. Yeah, I don't know about that. Like, Giannis is hooping, do not get me wrong. Well, yeah, I guess. Because Katie hasn't been hooping. Switch him. <laughs> like, you switch him. Bro, Giannis could not do this in Brooklyn. Him and Harden don't even like each other, <laughs> for real. But not like, bro, switch him. If you give Katie Drew Holiday, they're gone. Yeah, that's crazy. Katie or Buck. Well, we're, we're, see, and then, okay, we're, we're, ah, if you want to make that argument between one and two, yes, bro. No, bro. (laughs) If you want to make the argument between one and two, okay, cool. They're both hooping, I think. That's fine. Uh, We can talk about that. We can discuss that in the comment section, if you would like. Steph, of course. Jokic, okay. Uh, I think DeMar DeRozan should be up here, but okay. I would take DeMar over Jokic, but. Interesting. Uh, I don't know. He's the lucky carrier in the Nuggets. The Nuggets are trash. I'm not gonna go. Exactly. <laughs> like, <laughs> exactly. Like, most valuable player to their team, yeah, but like in the, the league MVP, nah, he's not the fourth. He's not the fourth most valuable person in the league. <laughs> to put it in Atlanta's terms. Anyways, freak, yo, y'all gotta stop putting Rudy Gobert on these lists. Yo, if I knew who made these lists, I'd slap him. <laughs> like, bro, I would really slap him. Like, bro, you have so many people hooping over Rudy. Like, bro, you have. LeBron, 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 LeBron. LeBron. <laughs> you got Demar, uh, like Chris Paul, yes, Ja, <laughs> Ja, Ja, Ja. I don't even know if I agree. Uh, look, well, of Rudy, yes. Um, he did a job for you. Yeah, now nah, he's tough. Yeah, like, like the game winner. I need to read the comments and see what people were saying Pretty about Rudy, Rudy, bro. That's hilarious. We ain't got time for that. Whatever, I don't care. Yeah, I'll, I'll read it after this video. Um, so I was on TikTok. Follow TikTok if you have not already. Um, they were saying DeMar DeRozan and Zach Levine are the best duo in the NBA right now. And I thought about it. And I was curious. I was like, I got to talk to Brody about this. So what do you think? <laughs> DeMar and Zach. Uh, they might be. Because I look he, off the top of my head, I can't think of any two. Well, okay. So the initial yeah, argument started off. The dude was like, they're way better than Jalen Brown. And Jason Tatum. And he was like, way better? And he was like, yes, way better. They're the best duo in the league. And I was like, hmm. And I started thinking about, like, all the, like... I mean, you can go, like, Harden, KD. Yeah, that's true. But not... But they haven't been playing the best. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. They, they look... Yeah, they've been playing the best. And then you got, like, the people... The duos we used to argue, like, just aren't hooping no more. Mm-hmm. Like, Damon CJ aren't hooping no yeah. more. Like, LeBron and AD. AD's hurt. So are they the best duo? Yes. 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 Yeah, oh, okay. Right. Um, the Celtics set the world record for like the worst three point shooting percentage in the game. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Bro, they went four for forty two. I wasn't gonna talk about it because like that's embarrassing. Four for yeah. forty two. Bro, I feel like we've ran pickup games and we've played with some bad people and we've hit more than four. Like, yo, that's bad. Four for forty two. Even when we were playing bad, like we weren't going four for. 42. How did that look? Uh, yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> oh my god. Why it was Celtics so bad this year? I don't know. It was against the Clippers, too. Without PG, because PG is hurt. Did we cover that last week? Yeah, I, we did. I think we we did. did? I couldn't remember. Yeah. We talked about that injury last week. Well, PG. PJ. PG is still hurt. PJ Tucker is also hurt. But, um, yeah, we, I just gotta talk about the Celtics for a second, man. Y'all suck. Bro, trade. People were saying they should trade Tatum. No. They was like, he doesn't know how to play with another star. Mm-hmm. They was like, he's supposed to be a bucket getter, but he don't really be getting, getting buckets. On like an elite level. It was like, he his pass first is terrible. He doesn't play defense. They was like, Jalen Brown's a better defender. 
<laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess. But like, Jalen Brown is like your star player is kind of like nasty though. He has more like trade value. Yeah. Like he, uh, I trade. Yes, because I think it's because people know they're not about to trade Tatum, so they. Yeah. He's like, we'll take Jalen. He's tough though. I think yeah, he'd yeah. pro- he prosper somewhere else. I guess he did just drop fifty, so. I don't. He like he shoots too much. I don't think he should be shooting that much. Like he can drop fifty. He's capable of dropping fifty, but I don't think he should. Like. I get it. Yeah. Like the game. I think he was like one for eleven. The game they shot so bad. Mm-hmm. Why are you taking eleven threes? That don't fit. I don't, that just don't fit to me. But whatever. Anyways. I stand there recap. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you, you know, like, comment, subscribe, follow the IG, follow the Twitter, follow the TikTok, it'll be in the description below. Yeah, stay tuned for the for the video. Talking about 2022. Happy New Year, by the way. Yeah, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry New Year. Happy Christmas. It's DNA. <laughs>